Okay, so for this project, and an app called Vidlib on your iPads. Make sure you first download both of these apps from the MUFSD app catalog. So let's talk about what the product is gonna look like. If we go into iMovie, uh, we're first greeted with our, our projects page here, and we're gonna select the plus button to create a new project. And we don't wanna create a regular movie here, we wanna create a movie trailer. So I'm gonna tap on that, and the first thing we're gonna see are templates. And you, so you can see iMovie has a handful of built-in templates, which each include um, different text animations and transitions and music that all come together to create this one minute or so uh, video trailer, which in your case is going to be describing the book that you've read. So the first thing you can do is kind of preview all the different trailers. So let's take a look at this adrenaline trailer. I'm gonna tap on the play button here and we can get a sample of what this trailer is gonna look like. So you see they all have this kind of nice introduction screen, and then you'll see lots of video clips, and they're kind of intertwined with different text scenes and animations. And the result is a really nice, highly edited, professional-looking video trailer. So you can take a look at the different uh, templates that are available and select the one that you wanna use. So I'm gonna go ahead and make one right now. Let's actually use that adrenaline template. So with this selected, I'm gonna tap on create on the right hand corner. And it brings me to the outline of our video. So you have three parts to the screen here. In the top left, you have your preview. In the bottom left is where you're gonna get your video clips uh, and your photos from. And on the right side, in this case, we have our outline. So the first thing we wanna do with our video is type in our name of our movie you can make up a studio name and you can select a different logo style. You see there's a few different ones and if I tap on them, I can preview what they look like over on the left-hand side. So pick the one that best suits your uh, book. And then you can add in all the credits and you can change any of these names to give one person credit for being a director or an editor, etc. So the first thing you'll do is take a minute and fill all that out. And then we're ready to start assembling our trailer. So I'm gonna go over into the storyboard. This is where we add all of our different media. So um, I'm gonna go over here on the left-hand side. And again, I see my preview. And I see on the bottom left, now I can access all the video clips and the photos and even camera that is available. Uh, and all of those things can be incorporated into your video. On the right-hand side, we see the storyboard. And so this is made up of two different parts. You have the text that's gonna appear, and all of the text shown here in blue is editable. So you can tap on any of these and change it to whatever you'd like. And that, that goes for all of them. And so you're gonna use these little blocks of text to essentially tell the story or the key points of the, the trailer that you're trying to create. And then, in between each of the text blocks, you have these little video clips or photos that you can add in, um, and it's telling you suggested shots to use. So for, he, for example, here, the first shot, they're suggesting you use a whole group shot with multiple people. And then the second shot is a wide shot and then a closer shot. Um, these are just suggestions. You can really use whatever you want. And so you're gonna, let's say we wanna fill out this first um, video clip here. So I can come into my videos and access all my video clips here. And I can select the one that I wanna use. All right, so say I wanna use this footage of these windmills here. Um, now you see this little yellow block, that's, it's so short because we only need a 0.8 second clip for this first segment here. So I can actually drag this around and find the exact portion of the clip that I wanna use. And when I'm ready, I can tap on that little curved arrow and it'll throw that clip right into my trailer. And so I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna add my media for all my different clips, okay? Now, before I go any further here, this is where Vidlib comes into play. Um, you could certainly get videos from a variety of sources and of course you can record them yourselves. Uh, in fact, you can access the camera bottom and record from directly within the iMovie. Um, but it would be nice to include some high resolution, nice quality stock video clips that help you to tell your story. And that's what Vidlib is for. So if I leave iMovie for a minute, and I'm gonna... So when I launched Vidlib, I created an account and logged in. And what you'll notice is that Vidlib is just that, it's a library of video clips that you can download and use in iMovie. 
um, and they're all categorized here. So say I'm looking for a, a, a footage of a, a particular landscape. I can go into landscapes. Uh, you'll have to ignore the little advertisements. And uh, I can look around and look at all of these different clips and preview them. And so say I think this clip might be good in my video. I want to go ahead and tap on download. And you tap on free download and hit the download button. You may get advertisements. It is a free app. You'll get this little pop-up window. You just tap done. And that video clip is now saved into your photo roll. So I can now incorporate it into my iMovie. So let's head back over. Oops. So now that I've got some video clips, we can head back over into iMovie and back to our storyboard here. And we can start adding video clips into each of these little um, clips within our, our trailer. So I'm just going to go and for now, I'm just going to grab some different clips and throw them in. Maybe some clips of some traffic. Of course, you guys will think this out a lot more than I am. I'm just throwing random clips in. All right. Okay. Okay, so I've got all my clips in and I've got all my text. And um, iMovie is going to go ahead and assemble my video for me. So let's take a look at what this looks like. Now, it's not going to make any sense because I just used a, a variety of random clips. You guys are going to have to really think out what clips you're using and what order you want to put them in there and so they coordinate with the text. I'm just using the stock text here, the default text. So let's take a look at what it looks like. Tap the play button. All right, and you can see we have our nice little logo and of course there's going to be music built in here. And so you see these nice quick cuts from video to video and they're interspersed with the uh, text that is part of uh, the iMovie trailer template. Okay. And so if you find that you don't like a particular bit of a clip, you can go back and you can edit it after the fact. So you can see we're getting down near the bottom here. Okay. Play. And so you get the idea. Now, once you're done with your video and you're satisfied with it, we have to be able to share this, right? So I'm going to tap on the Done button on the top left-hand corner. And this is where we see our video. And you can preview it again from here. But of course, we want to share this. So I'm going to tap on the share icon, the square with the arrow on the very bottom. I'm going to tap on that. And we have some choices as to where to send it. Now, you could certainly uh, send it as an attachment to an email. However, being that it's a video, the file might be a little bit large and it might not go through so well. So what my suggestion is, is that you actually upload it to your Google Drive. So you'll tap on the Google Drive icon and you'll give it a minute to upload. And then once it is uploaded, you can go into Google Drive and copy the link and then share the link with your teacher so that they can download and view your trailers. Okay? That's all for me. Have fun.